accountants move into the AI uh, world and the technology associated with it, they need to rethink their perspective. Accountants need to quit focusing on just one model of financial information, the model associated with generally accepted accounting principles, financial reporting, financial accounting. Essentially the model every accountant was taught as an undergraduate or graduate student. They need to move into information modeling in a way that's relevant to the, to the people in their company. Now, by in their company, this is a complicated question because accountants have always done a good job in what I call the up and out. In other words, communicating to the C-suite and communicating to stakeholders. The, the new challenge with automation and artificial intelligence is to communicate around and down to their peers and to the employees throughout the company and make the information they provide relevant and actionable to, to those people. Because a lot of the information we've provided uh, that's structured in the way that uh, financial reporting requires it is based on uh, standards and conventions, not based on the reality of the resources and the processes that uh, the people throughout the company actually see and need information and need insights to use. There's a, an interesting challenge for accountants today. We need to fundamentally rethink a little bit about what accounting is. Is accounting about the rules of man or the laws of man? Uh, is it, does it reflect the social consensus that's established by, for instance, the Financial Accounting Standards Board or the International Accounting Standards Board? Or should accounting more accurately reflect the laws of nature, the reality of the uh, resources and processes inside a company? I think we need to develop accounting as actually a financial modeling focus, not focus just on the one model that uh, all accountants learn, generally accepted accounting principles, wherever that is around the world, but to focus on modeling reality, to have a more scientific and reflective look. That look will be extremely useful to people throughout the company, not just to executives and stakeholders that are making investment decisions or working towards perhaps bonuses and incentives. The challenge uh, that, that occurs when you look at a new style of information, when you look at what I call causal information or information based on the laws of nature to provide scientific insights, uh, it is a whole different ballgame. What we're seeing is that Industry 4.0 or Manufacturing 4.0 has arrived. And, and that environment is extremely data rich. Uh, they're looking not only at the performance of their production line on quality, they're looking at the performance of their production line um, in terms of uh, meeting various metrics. They're looking ahead at forecasting uh, equipment failures so they can take action before that happens accidentally. There's a case study that specifically uh, intrigues me, and that's uh, the case of a South African platinum mine, mining company. They had developed an exceptional set of operational metrics, and they were using this, and they had um, supervisors that were actually arguing about which operational metrics made the most difference to the company, which would produce the best results. And perhaps on one shift, one metric would work, on another shift, a different metric would work. 
So this company had gone to the problem of identifying what was the optimal condition for many of the metrics. But even that didn't fill the bill. They needed a monetary overlay so that all those metrics could be compared with one uniform type of measure. And that measure, the measure that works best is money. And so we were able to go in and create a monetary model of their operations that was extremely granular. And we created a model for their ideal condition, and then we created real-time models associated with all of their key metrics. And so consequently, supervisors could sit in their control room, they could look at the, instead of looking at eight or nine different metrics and deciding which one they should adjust, they could watch one metric that really provided them with the difference between the optimal condition and the condition they were at.